How did you know it was me? I hoped it was you. I was getting worried. It's late. Well, I'm afraid it's gonna be a lot later before I get home. Well, what's wrong? Don't deny it. I can hear it in your voice. Uh, you don't even want to know. Well, if you can't come home, the least you can do is talk to me. Tell me. Oh, a bunch of wires, stupid machines, damn computers. Foil again, Sherlock? Yeah, well, I wish this was something to laugh about, but I'm afraid it's not. I got the first real lead on the guy who killed Tanya, and I can't follow through on it. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I was just trying to make you smile. The computers went down. I've been out on the streets with the other teams. We've been checking all over town. We have absolutely nothing. We're not near close to finding the car or the guy who drove it. Briscoe, could you back up a bit? The car that hit Tanya was a 78 Saab, tan. We have a picture of it plus an eye. Oh, that's a, that's a good news. Tony just walked in, should I tell him? No, let me talk to him. It's Briscoe. Hi. I got news for you. OK. We have a positive ID on the car. With a bit of luck, cooperation from our computers, we could find out tonight who was driving it. Great. Good luck. It's me. What's the matter with him? I'll try to find out. Hurry home, OK? Yeah, well, I'm hoping we get these computers working again. I'll call you if I'm going to be real late. I hope not. I love you. Frisco thinks they really have it this time. Good. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I just had a long day. Are you angry with me about something? Oh, no. No, listen, I'm just very tired, and I've got an early surgery tomorrow. I'm gonna go up and see the baby, okay? And, uh, listen, unless Frisco finds something real specific, um, I want to be alone with BJ. Good night. Good night. Bobby, I understand if you have to be in surgery tomorrow. What? <laughs> well, I will admit that I was looking forward to your babysitting Barbara Jean, but... Really? Jank? Well, that's great. Okay, well, I'll bring Barbara Jean over tomorrow, then. Oh, give him a big hug for me. Yeah, I really, really appreciate it. Thanks. First of all, I've got great news. Jake is going to babysit Barbara Jean tomorrow, which means you don't and I... Don't plan on anything for us tomorrow. But I don't have anything Is Tony to around? He's upstairs sleeping, probably. Well, it's just as good. I don't want to face him anyway. The computer? It never got fixed. Nothing came through in the APB. The patrol cars haven't found anything. Anna chased me off the whole case. Threatened to fire me, even. Damn it! Doesn't she understand? Probably more than you know. After that article today, she's got her own problems to deal with. Ah, go on in. Hi, um, I know it's late, but I have to see Tony. Oh, problem about being late. Good to see you. Well, I hope I didn't wake you. Oh, no, you didn't. I was just checking on BJ. How are you? Fine, thank you. Is Tony coming down? Um, uh, no, I don't think so. When he came home, he was exhausted, and he fell asleep in the chair next to Barbara Jean's crib. But I woke him up long enough to get him into his own room. Yeah. Tom wanted to talk to Tony. Well, I hate to wake him. Well, I don't think you could if you tried. Well, I guess I could wait till tomorrow morning. Well, he's operating on one of my patients first thing in the morning, and I have to see him before he starts. I could give him a message if you'd like. If it's that important, maybe we should wake him. No, no, it, it's really nothing for you to worry about. I have to talk to him. It'll wait. I know he needs his rest. I don't mind telling you, but I'm worried about Tony. I think maybe he's driving himself too hard. That's what this is all about, isn't it? No, no, really. Look, uh, I guess I better be going. Why don't you tell him that I, I came by and I'll talk to him first thing in the morning? I, I'm sorry I barged in so late. Good night. Good night. Good night. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that that's why Tom came here in the first place, because he doesn't think that Tony's working up to his ability. Something was bothering him. I feel as though I've lied to my brother. Now, two weeks ago, I told him that I would do what I could to find who killed his wife. I promised him, Felicia. I've got nothing. Zero. Now, if I had something that I could give him, if I had the murderer, he could go on with his life, and he could have a normal career. Frisco, now you just wait one little minute. 
I can take it when you come in here and you act like a bear. And I can take it when you use sentences with one syllable because you're mad or because you're angry. But I won't take this. I won't let you blame yourself. I'm so close, Felicia. I can feel it. I can feel it. Tomorrow is another day. Now, I know your brother's not the only one who's exhausted. Why don't you go to bed, hmm? I wouldn't be able to sleep anyway. I'll bet you could with a little help. Oh, if you're tired, go ahead. Go to bed. No, no, no. Not without you, I won't go to bed. I just wish that you would put everything that happened today out of your mind. Because tomorrow you're going to find that tan car and you're going to find the person that was driving it. Believe me. I hope you're right. I do hope you're right. I know that you were worried about tomorrow. But can't we go to bed? I'll help you relax. Hi. Oh, sorry. I was going into the kitchen. You guys want something? No. No, thanks. Maybe you ought to call Tom Hardy, though. What? Yeah, he, he came by a while ago. You were asleep. He didn't want us to wake you. He said he needed to talk to you. Something to do with one of his patients? That Hardy is something. You know, there's this kid who was Tom's patient, and I had, uh, until I had to run some tests on him, and then, uh, you know, I, I found some serious neurological problems that he had, and he's my patient, and I know how to take care of him. He just wanted to talk to you before you went into surgery tomorrow. Well, I wish him a lot of good luck, because until I'm out of surgery and that kid is out of danger, I don't want him near me. And I certainly don't want to listen to Tom Hardy. Marvelous Marvin.